Welcome back. You're tuned in to Editor's Roundtable. Well, Nimesh highlighted that in FY24, 23 in fact, the small cap index, well, it underperformed. But I'm looking at the last five years, and the Nifty is up close to 70%. You'll say it's not so bad. But I'll tell you what, the small cap index today is at the same level that it was in January 2018. Also. So that's telling you the kind of pain. I'll give you another data point. You'll say the Nifty is corrected only 5% from the peak, right? But the small cap index has corrected 25% from its peak that we saw in January 2022. So that's giving you a couple of data points that from the broader markets, well, there's not been much participation. And to give you a quick uh, analysis, I took the NSC 500 companies. And within that, you know, if you just look at it, 65% of the companies, they are sitting with cuts of more than 25%. So that's depicting the kind of underperformance you have actually seen from the broader markets. So the headline index is not telling you the entire picture. The big p question is, are small caps presenting a buying opportunity? And shouldn't they participate if India is going in the right direction? Well, you have various moves uh, you know, on the India front that are working. Move to organize from unorganized. You have UPI and fast tag adoption. The NCLT-led cl cleanup, that's what's good news as well. And the solid PLI-led CAPEX, which will bear fruit in the coming years. Now, also, are they presenting a buying opportunity? Well, you remember the phase from 2015 to 2019? Well, they pretty much, the Nifty as well as the small cap index moved in line. What happened after that was there was some reclassification that came in from SEBI, and that's what spoiled sentiment a little bit. And from there on, you did see the small caps did underperform. Financialization of savings, that's another theme that plays out. And there's more maturity in our markets. So, say, so to call it, there's not a satta market any longer. You analyze this good participation that's coming in there, the more maturity in the markets on the whole. The tax cuts that came as well in 2019, well, that's for all. But the smaller names, well, they could gain a little bit more. Well, before we wind down, though, I want to leave you a quote coming in from Warren Buffett. You need to focus on the playing field. Don't look at the scorecard. Well, then, in fact, you could probably win the game. So, uh, you know, that's the quote that I put out. But can the small cap index participate? And why shouldn't it participate when things are looking up? We have political stability, policy stability here in India, and moves in the right direction. Well, to put that question forth, let's put it to uh, Sunil. Sunil, you know, the question that we had was the small caps haven't really participated. But shouldn't they be participating with India moving in the right direction and so much going for us, politically, policy-wise as well? So, you know, Nigel, I think the, the data which you presented was very interesting. Uh, but, you know, we're just discussing, I think, small cap index is not a true reflection. Because, one, it's a, it comprises of too many companies. And second is, you know, a lot of these companies necessarily don't have the fundamentals. Mm. So, in the broader market, it's all going to be bottoms up. And if you actually look at small cap funds, even on the mutual fund side, vis-a-vis -vis some of the large cap funds, I think small cap funds have done significantly better. So I think in small cap, the research and the bottoms up becomes very, very important rather than just looking at the index. And I think even if you see the last two, three years, I think the same thing will get reflected. So, you know, uh, very, very clear from an investor perspective, when you are doing small caps, I think the, uh, the index will not be a benchmark. All and right, you so are absolutely right, in a growing economy, the smaller companies will tend to grow faster. They are in new segments, backed by entrepreneurs, you know, potential to grow faster because of their sizes also that much more. Sunil, you know, uh, you are very good in identifying the mid caps and small caps. Uh, in fact, uh, I know you won't talk about stocks, but you know, just two days back or three days back, you bought a company and now that company has announced for a delisting. I won't ask you about individual names, but leave us with some themes in the broader markets where you think uh, inflection point has come, earnings are going to be improving. Cost pressures have come down and there is going to be a demand uptake as well. Few pockets which you like now. So actually what happens in an image, you go through cycles. You know, you have a cycle where things do really, really well and then, you know, cycles where there are challenges. One good thing which we have seen over the last three, four years is, is that corporate India's balance sheet is phenomenal. Because of the huge profits they made last two years, I think almost all companies across segments have a great balance sheets. And I think that is what we are focusing on. Companies who have done CAPEX, they don't have too much of debt. So whenever the operating leverage will come in, in terms of higher capacity utilization or the spread between the raw material and the finished uh, goods rising, I think you'll start to see uh, uptake. And you know, there are always, uh, uh, you know, some investors who say we won't invest in commodities or we won't invest uh, in this. Our, our view is that India is such a diverse country that you have opportunities across, you know. You see paper companies which are supposed to be boring make so much money, textiles in between made so much money. I think uh, uh, commodities made so much money. At this point of time, I would say on the smaller side, uh, textile is a segment which has to definitely be looked at. Anything to do with ferrous metals, I think is looking very interesting because if the world revives, you know, dollar is weakening, I think there is going to be a rally in commodities. 
other than that some of the smaller IT companies have become to a very exciting level and same is the case with pharma it's completely completely ignored decent companies you know very clean balance sheet and some of the smaller pharma companies are now available at like low double digit kind of uh, uh, p multiples i would say even on the financial side you have now companies which are trading at on a p basis at 7 8 9 times you know i think that also uh, looks pretty interesting you know sunil at the start of the show sonia was celebrating that the rbi has paused So her EMI rates are not going to go up. I don't know whether there is an EMI out there, but be that. Prashant's EMI, not oh, mine. Oh, Prashant. Okay, <laughs> correct. <laughs> Prashant, I can believe. Sorry, I couldn't believe the EMI. Anyway, getting to the point, you know, that's going to be good for real estate as well. And you like that theme, I think. You know, you know, the fund has been investing in various ceramic companies. You know, you've invested in, I think, uh, Stylem as well. You know, some of those holdings that are official out there. Do you be- believe that some of these themes, which have corrected a goodish bit from the top? they are pre- presenting now good entry opportunities some of these stocks in the broader markets so real estate i think uh, residential real estate will slow down okay. uh, particularly on the luxury side as we move forward yeah. there was a bunch up of sale because of tax uh, changes so yeah. anyone who wanted to invest to save taxes did it before 31st of march so i think luxury real estate my view is slightly little bit more uh, sanguine but uh, on the affordable housing obviously there is going to be huge demand at the same time you know the rbs pause they have not cut yeah. so emi rates are still very very high <coughs> having said that on the theme which you mentioned which would be the ancillary building material themes we are quite optimistic and positive i think they got hit last 6 8 months because you know one there was a huge raw material increase and then fall exports particularly to the euro region became non existent and third they also suffered because of huge input cost in terms of energy prices you know whether it was gas or coal or even uh, diesel to some extent I, all these are now fading mm. or coming off mm. so i think march would be a quarter where you will start to see a little bit of uptick in terms of margin but we expect that june quarter should be the quarter which will come to normalization the markets are still a little bit uh, you know anxious about the el nino effect Yeah. no one knows what is going to happen yeah. because you know there is a difference of opinion there our view is that it should not have that much of an impact but uh, because of that overhang stocks have still not started to uh, sort of perform but once yeah. uh, that eases off a little bit we are very hopeful that the current year should be pretty decent for uh, so, some of these uh, since we are talking about the quarter to come right they were going to be talking a lot about tech stocks next week onwards tcs on 12 infi on 13 in one word are you buying tech now or no we are positive okay uh, you said small cap tech small cap pharma textiles steel uh, and uh, uh, building materials, building materials building and financials tech. also the smaller uh, financials uh, is the environment for uh, the smaller uh, universe of companies tougher as compared to a few years ago because we say that you know a larger the larger becoming larger and small caps the true small caps are at the cusp of uh, from unorganized to organized maybe they're already in the organized segment is the environment getting more constructive or is getting tougher so one is what we have to see is uh, the the structure of our economy you know our economy consists of lakhs and lakhs of small uh, entrepreneurs who create this company uh, and yes there is room for some of the very very large corporates in the in the large sectors who will do very very well but i think some of these sectors by nature tend to be small you know like uh, you know nigel mentioned about some building material uh, now sanitary where itself is 3 4000 crores total size so the company necessarily at this point of time small. will be smaller companies and they will eventually grow or even in uh, some of the other sectors which you mentioned like uh, in it there are some niche it companies who have done really well last few years and there are many more who will do or even in the pharma side you know they are focused on one niche therapeutic segment and they tend to do very very well so i think in india you will have a lot of those opportunities and then there are some upcoming sectors yeah. you know who necessarily start listed small listed universe they were not there and now they now they are coming. getting listed you know you have uh, some technology companies uh, we one of my colleagues have bought a company which is into lounge management i had never even heard about this business yeah. but i'm just giving you perspective so these kind of uh, opportunities keep on coming okay by the way wrapping up it's a long weekend and any of you going to watch the match in bombay i am i'm planning to go to the match oh, oh are, are you guys going together <laughs> no, guys together <laughs> okay that's going to be a good one right mumbai indians and chennai Let's super kings i'm going after a long long time otherwise yeah. i used to go for every match but nowadays i i find it too i would say we don't need to step out because he's got a mini theater at home itself so no, we no, can no, enjoy his life is life, <laughs> life yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just really hot so that's the reason i don't like to go but i guess uh, well there are box seats as well which nimesh will take us for one day right nimesh <laughs> but for 
folks, have a great weekend, long weekend coming up and uh, we'll meet again bright and early on Monday. Thanks for watching.